Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Uh, I know it's been a few weeks since I last posted a video. I apologize for my little hiatus. Life has just been a little hectic the last few weeks uh, with tax season and just with several life things unrelated to YouTube. So without further ado, uh, this video is going to cover a couple different things. Firstly, how to get paid by orders placed on your store for high ticket drop shipping. Secondly, how to pay your suppliers and fulfill those orders through your suppliers. So I apologize if some of this seems very obvious or straightforward to some of you. Um, this is really meant for people that are just getting into high ticket drop shipping or high ticket e-commerce in general and don't necessarily know how this works. Um, this is actually a question I get all the time. Uh, so just going to address these things here. I think this will be a pretty brief video. I'm just going to break it down when a customer places an order to the time that they receive that product. How does that whole process work? Where does the money come from? Where does the money go? So we will jump right into it. When a customer places an order on your store, those funds are captured by Shopify, assuming you're using Shopify. This will be done with whatever payment providers you offer on your store. I offer pretty much everything under the sun on mine. I don't really see any reason not to, although you can make an argument that things are a little risky with PayPal, uh, which they are, and that's kind of a separate conversation. Most people in my experience pay for their orders with a credit card. That money is captured by Shopify and it just kind of sits in your Shopify account for two business days. Otherwise, orders paid for with PayPal will go directly to your PayPal account and you can access that money pretty much right away. But in the instance of Shopify payments, so that's MasterCard, Visa, Discover, etc., cetera, uh, those funds will sit in your account for two business days and then uh, the earliest that you can transfer them to your bank account, I just have an auto transfer, is after two business days of it being in your account. When a customer places the order, you want to send a purchase order to your respective supplier for that product. Um, this is in the interest of the customer receiving their product on time and in a timely manner and to give them good customer satisfaction. And so there are a couple ways to do this. I used to do this manually just using a uh, Google Sheets template, and this was very manual. I don't recommend doing this way. It took a long time. And I also, because it was copy and pasting, sometimes there were orders where I would literally copy and paste wrong information and a, a product would get sent to the wrong person. And that was just a, an enormous headache to, to deal with. So I ditched that uh, method pretty early on. And now I use an app called Auto Purchase Orders. Um, I just have it connected to my Shopify store. And so when a product is ordered, uh, it will recognize having built out these templates and supplier profiles in this app, it'll recognize that that, that product needs to be ordered from the supplier and shipped to the customer that ordered it. So it'll automatically put together a PDF purchase order and send it to the supplier within basically seconds of that order being placed. And this has saved me you know, a lot of time and a lot of human errors that otherwise led to uh, much more inconvenient problems to deal with. So the supplier receives the purchase order, they start processing the order on their end, you know, depending on the seasonality of your product, depending on the supply chain, depending on the availability of your products. Um, it could be anywhere from the same business day that the product ships out. Uh, and in my situation, my best selling supplier in, in the summertime will get up to several weeks before products ship out just because of the order volume and the availability of parts and materials. So uh, the, the way that most suppliers work uh, at least pretty much all of them that I've ever encountered is they will invoice you upon shipment of that product. Um, some will, will not ship the product until you've paid your invoice to them, but pretty much across the board, all suppliers will invoice you for that product um, when that product ships out. And so uh, let's say you, this is, let's say this is your first order. Uh, you don't have any real huge funds in your account that you are able to fund this with. Um, you have to wait for the funds from the customer to enter your account in order to pay for this. Um, that's fine. You can just tell your, your supplier it's going to be a day or two before I can pay this invoice because I need to wait for these funds to clear and they will understand that. And 
Um, in some situations, they'll ship the product anyway and just give you a due date or net terms on your invoice, or they will just hold on to the product until you're able to pay for it. And then once you've paid your invoice, uh, you'll be able to ship it. So I hope that you're able to draw from that, that how you pay your suppliers for any order is from the funds that you receive from the customer. And then you keep the difference of the wholesale price and the retail price that you charge the customer. And that's that's essentially the basic essence of how high ticket dropshipping works and how you get paid. One other note that I have on this is it's really advantageous to have a business credit card linked to your business bank account. Um, and the reason being is A, uh, especially if you are just getting started and you want to be able to pay your invoices without having to wait for the funds to clear to your account, uh, you have a line of credit available for you to do this. But on top of having a line of credit available for your use, if you have a business credit card that just automatically gets charged by your supplier every time you send a purchase order to them, that racks up so quickly. And I personally get about $20,000 plus per year just in credit card points by paying my supplier's invoices just with a single credit card. I use Chase Business Inc. Preferred. Um, there are a lot of other great options out there that have really good travel points that have really good cash back. But essentially this is just an extra $20,000 for me in travel per year that otherwise I wouldn't have access to. So um, that's kind of a separate conversation in and of itself. Um, I recommend having a business credit card for all business expenses because you can just rack up the points on Google ads, on, on supplier invoices, and that adds up a lot over you know just a couple of months. So um, that's really it. I mean, uh, again, this is just a question I get a lot and that's, that's the very basic process. A customer orders from your website, you send a purchase order to your supplier, you get the funds from your customer, you pay your supplier with those funds and then the supplier ships the product to the customer. And that is the basic dynamic and that is the basic model of high ticket drop shipping. So I'm gonna cut that video here. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe on the channel and we will see you in the next one.